Hi, and welcome to Rambling Zone. My name is Nathan, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you my collection of air guns. Well, first off, I will tell you that my guns are not uh, in pristine condition. Uh, they're not broken, <coughs> uh, but but one is, and I'm not showing you that. That's the Marex XBG. The uh, magazine doesn't hold uh, BBs anymore. Anyway, uh, this is my setup. Um, these are a mixture of uh, pellet guns and BB guns and uh, airsoft. Uh, <coughs> I um, I know the camera's not centered properly, or and there's there's shadows and everything. This is this is only a introductory video to what I'm doing here. Anyway, um, in this in this show you will be uh, shown basically what. I have what I like, what I think of the guns, and whether I think they're worth the price, and whether they're worth purchasing to start with. And uh, no, I'm not bald. I got long hair, but either way. Point blank, uh, first off I'm going to show you a very common gun that you may have had as a child, depending on how old you are. Uh, I know it was when I was a child, technically legally I was too young to have it, but and they've changed it since then. It is the what some would call the Crossman 357, but is now called the Crossman Vigilante. And it is a pellet and BB shooter. It has a rifled barrel, so shooting BBs through this is probably the stupidest idea I've ever heard of since, you know, BBs can actually, non lead BBs can probably, can actually screw up your barrel. So I've heard. But the fact is, they don't, they, they also don't benefit from the rifled barrel, so shooting them is a waste of money. Uh, and whether it's true or not, with the BBs screwing up the, bri the, rifle, the, rifle, the rifling in the barrel, whether, I don't know if it's true or not, but taking that chance for myself, taking the chance of it being true is too much, so I rarely, if ever, shoot BBs from this. It has a, it comes with a, a six or eight shot BB magazine, but they don't stay in, so they're, sh they're shit. The BBs actually stay into the ten shot BB, I mean, pellet clip, better than they do the BB uh, cylinder, cylinder, and uh, this pretty much will take almost any pellet you can put at it, even the lethal pellets. Um, it's of course CO2, and uh, I will be doing a tabletop for each of these guns. If you can't see the gun now, don't worry, the video will be there, soon at least. Anyway, this is a basic overview of the functions of the gun and an explanation of how it shoots how it sounds, how it performs. Um, out of the box, this gun was pretty goddamn accurate, but I went and fucked with the sights, and it was shooting... If you're facing me, it was shooting high left. Now it's shooting high right down. I, basically, this gun was not hitting directly above the blade, but it was hitting the same spot every time. Boom, 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 boom. I actually cut a hole in a piece of drop ceiling with this thing, eventually. Anyway, um, it is brake barrel, so to speak. Uh, the cylinder doesn't move. I mean, you know, this will be all on the tabletop. But let me show you this. It has CO2. Both grips come off. And it's the cylinder is not loaded, but you can tell how loud it is by this. Well, if there was gas in it. Apparently this cylinder is not. I forgot to mention the safety. <laughs> I forgot to mention the crossbolt safety, which is on. That's why I wasn't firing. The damn safety was on. But as you can tell, it sounds pretty good. I mean, I let a lot of the gas out. But with uh, the pellet in here, this thing's pretty damn loud. It has a good crack when it first four or five shots, six, seven shots, and then by the six, seven shot, it's it's tapered off and it won't be as loud. Uh, big barrel, uh, it has a, you can't see it, anyway, uh, yeah, screw it, I'm going to waste it and show you how to, I'm not going to waste it, actually, I'm going to wait till the tabletop, but anyway, CO2, screw, and no, the screw is not always visible. You pop, you push your screw, your, 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 uh, CO2 in, you screw it in, and try to do it a little fast because 
You, I've had ones where it's like that. Done. No, barely any leak at all. Piercing it. And uh, I have the magazine loaded, and I'm not going to be pointing a load of anything at my camera, but basically this thing probably gets up to, you know, I'm, I'm also going to mention that I'm not doing karate testing because when it comes down to it, unless you're doing mass shooting, you don't care about the goddamn feet per second. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, but this thing gets, you know, I'll tell you now, Pyramid Air, they're, uh, their YouTube channel with uh, Paul Capello, he is very good. He shakes his head a little too much when he's talking, but he's very good at displaying all the stats and everything else. I'm not trying to compete with them. And because I couldn't. <laughs> Pyramid Air ain't sending me free shit. Uh, either way. But check his channel out if you're interested in more stats, because very good. Repli uh, Replica Air Guns is good, but... He's good. I mean, he, he he's good for an all-around. But if you want specifics and very, very close, very good stats, Pamron Air's website with Paul Capello. Um, it's called uh, Airgun, Airgun Reporter. Yeah, search for Airgun Reporter. He's good. Anyway, that's enough about that. I've rambled on about that. Yeah, you too. You know what? I'm going to mix it up. This is... I don't, you know, I bought this off of my girlfriend's son. It is an Airsoft uh, MP5, I don't know. Anyway, um, it's Airsoft, and it, uh, it's fine. I mean, it ha it's, it's plastic. It's all plastic. It has that bla orange blaze on it. I ought to spray paint that, but either way. And uh, the only reason I'm doing this is, again, because it's unloaded. You have to cock it after every shot. And it's pretty accurate. I mean, I hit a can most of, some of the time. I hit the can, aiming right above the blade. Uh, probably five out of twenty shots, I hit the can. And it has a full-size magazine, which honestly I think is a waste because all this plastic, all this space, and it's a single line. And again, I'm not going over the capacity because I put I. Put, I put BBs in here to check the capacity, but I, I didn't, I don't really don't, I'm not really doing that right now. I'm going through what I have. Um, it shoots <coughs> pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, then we have the Crossman C41. Uh, a BB gun, air, air gun, and while... This is this model was a refurb, and I bought it for forty dollars from Pyramid Air, so plus shipping. And uh, well, it's not extremely accurate. It is accurate. It's more so accurate than my other guns, which I'll get to. It has a dropout magazine, which is here, and it. My, my, uh, then again, I'll get to the tabletop of this. It goes in like so, and if I, th I think if I take it out, it's going to spew BBs everywhere, so I'm not going to do that. Well, I have to, I'm going to show you. You lose a BB every time you take it out, if you're lucky. And, uh, again, then I'm going to show you this. It has a working slide, but, well, it has a slide, but it's not working. It's cosmetic only. This is what it sounds like has a recessed barrel, which is good. Very good. Really, really realistic. Like a, maybe a 9mm diameter. Uh, then we have the Walther PPK. Now this gun was originally the black version, and I stripped it, and I'm in the process of polishing it. Now, I didn't strip it and grind it down enough to get a mirror slide, which I don't even think this would be capable of it, but um, this is a blowback replica of the uh, famous gun by a British son of a bitch. And uh, again, yes, it does have that. Now, there's no BBs in it, and the slide will lock back with the clip empty in it. But this is the this is the action of it. Oh, yeah, shit. Not a CO2. Anyway, this gun has a working slide, and it's a pretty good kick. And it is field strippable. 
safety, you have to put it on safety for it to get it back on. See, feels trippable. You can take all that out, but I'm not going to do it now. Okay. All right, now, it comes with a stick magazine, which is a fucking joke. <laughs> this thing is shit. It hasn't broke yet, but it's shit. Then we have <coughs> the rifle. And uh, I'll be going over detailed specs, not really specs, but detailed information as much as I have, as much as I can give, as much as possible um, on these guns. Again, this is an overview of what I will be doing. There will be other products, but this is a Daisy Powerline, I think it's Powerline, 880S. It's a Daisy something 880S. I don't know. Point is, it's a very, very powerful rifle for 40 bucks, 42.97 at Walmart, whatever. Anyway, I'm not going to be mentioning prices much on here unless it's obvious they are have an MSRP. They have an MSRP like the Vigilante is mostly under 50 bucks, but I don't want to send you to a site expecting a certain price and then get pissed off because oh, it's out of date or light light now. Um, but anyway, and there's a neat trick with this that honestly you can get the power of a 22, a low. Uh, a low velocity 22 round when it comes to like impact <coughs> uh, w by using or close to a 22 close to it that maybe half at bet at worst possibly more of the power of a 22 by sticking maybe eight um, pellets in this son of a bitch and popping it up to 10 or 12 pumps and it, it oh by the way all but the MP5, I don't know what it is. All but all of these are 177 caliber. Um, all of them. Uh, I'm getting. I'm supposed to be getting a 22 Chinese made B11 tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, and I use. I I really don't care about the ammo and uh, CO2 tanks. Um, unless you're like really dependent on like in competition. If you're simply plinking. Get the cheapest shit you can. When it comes to BBs, get the cheapest you can that are still quality. Like the, the Crossman Copperhead, people think they're shit. They may be shit. I've seen dimples in them. But it doesn't really matter if you're shooting fucking cans on the backyard. And yes, I'm not going to be, this is not a Christian channel, plain and simple. If I swear, it is to show expression. It is not simply to be there as an expletive. And... If you don't want to hear bad words, don't watch my damn channel, bitch. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I use uh, right now. Uh, I think the forty pack at Walmart for like nineteen. And you know, Walmart has consistent prices. Uh, Twenty bucks plus sales, plus plus sales set of sales tax for forty CO twos, 12, 12 grams. You know, they're 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 good. They are great. Again, I'm up in an attic, and it's uh, March, so pretty much, and I've been shooting throughout the winter here, pretty much uh, <laughs> not good for CO2 tanks. I actually took a CO2 tank outside um, in the snow and had a trash can sitting there next to you know, on the side of the yard, but on right, right, right up side, uh, uh, up on the side by side beside the pens, and um, <laughs> I sat a CO2 tank on it, and it. Snow. It, ha it sat in the snow. I went to pick it up. I'm like, eh, mm. big pieces of ice attached to it. These will freeze water. These will freeze cold water. Uh, BBs. Uh, yeah, BBs. I said I have cross my copper heads. Um, pellets. I'm using. You know, I don't remember what they're called. When I go to the reviews, I will. Uh, this is off the shirt collar. There's no. I have a light and a camera. Uh, I'm, I'm not. Sh I'm shooting from the hip, so to speak, with this. Um, I don't know what they are, but I will know when I do the review of the guns with them that use them. Uh, pretty much, they're BB tipped lead pellets. There, okay, look them up. Or if you don't know, laugh at me. Finally, we have the Dan Wesson six inch silver uh, BB gun. This is probably my most prized gun. Uh, wow. 
It is heavy from a distance of probably across the room. That looks real. <laughs> that looks really real. <coughs> mm, beautiful. Smooth bore barrel though. But again, it only shoots BBs, so. You probably would get some benefit out of it, but again, it would probably kill the rifling eventually anyway, even with lead pellets. And it uses these dummy rounds. And yes, if you get a 38 or 357 round, it will chamber. This has a swing out barrel. Beautiful, huh? This is the crack of it. And again, none of these guns have fresh CO2 tanks in them right now. So, um, CO2 tank this slides out. It closes up. It feels loose, but you have a little bit of effort to open it. Now, I forgot to show you on the C41. This bitch will slide open at a baby's touch. Watch this. Use the pinky. I, I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> I don't know if I can shoot it open. No. Okay. But anyway. Um, yeah, anyway. Bottom line, this is what I have for a room in a moment. And uh, I will be doing um, product reviews, specs, as much as I want, you know, as relevant to my target audience. Um, oh! I got one. This one actually has the name, but it is a Powerline 201. And it is a dual shooter. And it has a, I think it's a smooth bore barrel. Yeah, smooth bore barrel. It is a dual BB and uh, pellet shooter. Uh, <clears throat> it has a, a hopper for BBs. You, uh, it's a spring spring loaded. There is the slide release. You push that, it releases the slide. Cock it back, flip up the front of the barrel, and there is a hopper for that, for, for, for BBs, and, and a, one sh a single shot uh, port. It's actually part of the barrel, believe it or not, for inserting one pellet at a time. And then you insert your stuff. If it's BBs, if it's pellets, you're ready to shoot as soon as you push that slide back. You can close that and push the slide back. But if it's BBs, you have to shake it. And when you down to your last BB, you'll know it because it rattle, 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 whoosh, and you'll hear no more, more, more shots. And then you, and it has <clears throat> fixed up. Again, I'm, I'm trying to get into specs, but this is not um, a detailed video for these, for, the, for, for these guns. And basically, you can't, once it's cut, you can't do the slide. So, and then you shoot, take aim, and you shoot your pellet in or BB, or, or BB, I don't, recommend, I don't recommend both. And then, repeat, rinse and repeat, shooting pellets, load another one, shoot BBs, all you do is pull the slide back, push it back, and, sh and shake down, and shoot. All right, <clears throat> that's pretty much that. Uh, again, my channel is, going, is called Ramblings On, it's not specific to any single topic. It is um, very broad. I have absolutely no specialty. Well, I do have a specialty. It's computers, which may uh, come. I ha I'm, gonna t I'm pretty much going to end this video in a few seconds, but first I'm going to tell you what, I, what products I have <clears throat> other than what you've seen. I have uh, upcoming... I've done none of this. This is the only video I've shot so, f so, so far. I have uh, an iMac G4, 700 megahertz. <coughs> Excuse me. I have an eMac 1.42 G4. I have a MacBook Core 2 Duo. Oh no, sorry, sorry, Core Duo. Uh, 1.8 gigahertz uh, coming. I have the Chinese B11 rifle, as I said before. I have the Canon PowerShot A2500, which is what is filming this. Uh, Walmart's protection plan. I will comment on it, but I've never had to use it, but I hope I don't ever get that experience. Uh, plus food reviews. Uh, very, very few of those, if any. Um, 
pretty much my channel is going to be on topic of how to uh, products that are not extremely expensive but are still good or they could be so fucking cheap that they're funny as shit but the products that I review will be something that are worth owning because if not I wouldn't own them and uh, that's about it again my name is Nathan and I uh, like I said if you're interested in the guns uh, Pyramid Air sponsored um, Air Gun Reporter uh, Paul Capello he's very good he's very entertaining to watch very charismatic